Use the valve core tool and remove the valve core from the valve stem. Completely deflate the tire. Remove all wheel weights from both sides of the rim using the wheel weight installation removal tool. Place the wheel against the machine with the outside of the wheel tire assembly facing out. Place the bead breaker shovel as close to the rim as possible without touching the rim. Depress the button on the bead shovel handle until the bead is broken. If the bead is not broken all the way around the tire, rotate the wheel and repeat the process. Turn the wheel around and place the front side of the wheel against the machine and break the bead on the back side of the wheel. Liberally lubricate both beads. This will make removal easier and prevents damage to the bead. Make sure the rim clamps are completely retracted and place the wheel assembly on the clamps. Depress the right pedal and the rim clamps will extend and clamp the rim in place. Swing the mount demount head towards the rim. The mount demount head must be adjusted so it sits roughly 1 8 of an inch or 3 millimeters away from the rim. Adjust this by turning the large adjuster knob located at the top of the mount demount arm. Press down on the mount demount head until it rests on the rim. Pushing the lever away from you will activate the cam lock and raise the head the correct 1 8 of an inch or 3 millimeter distance above the rim. The mount demount head should never touch the rim once it is locked. Remove the bead lever and be sure the curb tip is facing up. Push down on the bead of the tire and slide the bead lever under the bead between the bead and the mount demount head. Rest the lever on the outside of the demount head in the bead lever notch. Push down on the opposite side of the tire while pulling the bead lever down. This will place the bead opposite the mount demount head in the drop center of the rim and allow the bead to slip over the mount demount head. Slip the bead lever back so the end is not protruding into the sidewall. This will prevent damage to the inner liner of the tire. Press down on the bead lever with the left hand while lifting the tire gently with your right hand. Depress the left foot pedal. The table will rotate and the top tire bead will demount from the rim. Slide the bead lever under the bottom bead and repeat the same process. Use a wire brush and thoroughly clean both bead areas of the rim. Clean off the rim with a clean cloth. This will prevent future leaks around the bead area. Lubricate both tire bead areas on the rim and drop center. This will ensure installation of the tire will require less effort and prevent tire damage. Place the lower tire bead over the mount head and under the dismount head. Twist the tire to the left and lock the bead to the rim. Push down on the tire and press the left foot pedal down. The wheel will rotate and the bead will drop into the rim. Place the upper bead over the mount head and under the dismount head. Twist the tire to the left and lock the bead to the rim. Push down on the tire so the bead goes into the drop center and press down on the left foot pedal. 
The table will rotate and the tire will drop onto the rim. Be sure to keep the top bead in the drop center during this process. Failure to do so may result in wheel or tire damage. Rotate the tire assembly until the valve stem faces you. Clip the air hose to the valve stem and depress the air control pedal. Depressing the pedal all the way down will activate the air nozzles under the lower bead. This will help fill the tire with air and seat the lower bead more quickly. Depressing the pedal halfway down will deliver air through the filter hose only. Inflate the tire until the lower and upper beads seat. Never exceed 40 PSI while seating the beads. Remove the air hose and install the valve core. Inflate the tire to the proper pressure. If overinflation occurs, depress the manual tire bleed valve to reduce pressure. Depress the right pedal and the clamps will release the tire assembly. Remove the wheel tire assembly from the machine.